Hey guys, my name is Jonathan Brown, and this Vlogtivity will consist of discussing various strategies that one can implement to uh, help facilitate a visually impaired person to partake in the activity of running. Running, in my opinion, is one of the best cardiovascular exercises that one can partake in, and I believe all persons of capabilities and abilities should be able to partake in such activity. Visual impairment, including blindness, pretty much means an impairment in vision, even when corrected, can adversely affect a person's education or their day-to-day -day practical activities. A person that is considered visually impaired will have many deficiencies in functional components. Specifically, they will be deficient in coordination, balance, and sensory perception. Now, to help strengthen and progress those deficiencies, there are many modalities that one can use and they consist of pre-teaching, physical assistance, verbal explanation, and auditory cues, or closed chain exercises like the treadmill. A treadmill is considered closed chain because the parameters consist of the treadmill itself, and the movements are very predictable. So Rob right here will demonstrate walking on a treadmill. You're doing a great job, Rob. So, the visually impaired subject can initially utilize the treadmill to become familiar with the mechanics of walking and running. And then once they become proficient in such activity, drop, drop. I believe the next progression can be using a running guide of such by a tether or just their uh, actual body. We're going to use this uh, weightlifting belt as an imaginary tether. Now the way this will be uh, employed is that the tether is tied to me and Rob, the visually impaired subject, will hold on to the tether and the tether will be used as a guide essentially. Or if the tether is not available, he can even just hold on to my elbow. And the same activity can be used as such. There are various uh, modalities and approaches to overcome these deficiencies, but those three are my favorite. And I enjoyed doing this uh, vlog activity as a future uh, healthcare professional. I believe that the uh, concepts and thought processes used here can be used in the future to pretty much uh, overcome any kind of a uh, malady or a uh, physical deficiency or disability that my future clients will have. That's it.